Greetings everyone, a warm welcome. Thank you for joining me. Gemini, this is your reading for September. Gosh, the ninth month of the year. I just don't know where time goes. And talking about that, September brings us into the time of the year where the planet goes through its three monthly cycle of changes in terms of spring and autumn in September. So in the northern hemisphere you're rolling into autumn, in the southern we roll into spring. It's also the equinox day on the 23rd of September. Now this energy as we change over seasons can be quite tumultuous both in terms of weather and also for people this just seems to be more energy in the air or more change occurring so it can be quite a tempestuous sort of month it, not so much astrologically this month because we don't have quite so much going on we have Saturn going direct and we have a full moon in Pisces which could be quite emotional and watery the month of September is a universal month of three, which is quite a social month or a social number. The power day for the month is the number 99. We also have a Friday the 13th in September as well. So astrologically it seems to be a little bit quieter. There could be some, you know, uh, other energies that not all the astrologers are talking about such as things like asteroid movement or combinations of asteroids and planetary cycles that could be linking us into new beginnings and awareness I guess. Anyhow let's get on with your reading. Before we go too much further I pulled up a, a word or a thought path for you guys to ponder upon and yours was called speak your truth. So I don't know what that means to you guys in particular and remember because this is a general reading it can mean different things to different people but something about holding your truth within yourself or speaking up and being heard or um, being accountable for something by speaking your truth. If there's something that you have been held back from or you have been too scared to talk about like within a relationship or a circumstance or a project it might be a month for you guys to stand up be heard and speak your truth we're dealing with this four deck of cards that you have that you see in front of you these two are tarot these two are oracle I wouldn't use too many of these as they're quite intense anyhow they're a nice deck but they go quite deep and they could almost have a reading of their own per se I have done the shuffling beforehand but I'll do a quick little shuffle of each of them just so that you can um, see that there's nothing that's been staged or faked. <laughs> I'm not into that so these are all true and real readings. So this is for Gemini for September. So we just shuffle these once again just before we start. Gemini for September 2019. What is it that you would like them to understand? What messages have you got in store for them? That was a messy shuffle anyhow, wasn't it? Okay. I have been starting with this deck over here usually, so... Wow, big card to start off with. That's number 12, Sacrifice the Hanged Man. It is a major arcana, it's quite a powerful one. You see the rainbow energies coming into her mind so that you get the feeling of as if we are being given some sort of thought process that really makes us ponder when the hanged man comes out. It can be about timing and slowing things down to make careful consideration about juxtapositions or changes or positions that are coming up in your life. Sometimes this denotes a time when we are at a crossroads and we have big decisions to make. Now because it's a major arcana card and it also adds up to a number three and remember we said September was a three universal month. So the number three might be quite relevant for some of you in some way. It could be something worth thinking about. But if this is a crossroad that's coming up it can often be a big one and these could be things like jobs or career change or immigration into a new country or changing city or moving house or new relationships that are coming or going. There's even you know you have to think about the relationship that you have with yourself as well. 
we are moving through very fast time changes in life now. Nothing is remaining static. And in part, we could say this is due to the unusual planetary lineup that we are now going through. And some of these changes or planetary associations that are moving together haven't happened for nearly 2,000 years. So as far as we know as humanity on the planet, we haven't experienced a lot of these cyclical changes before. And that's why we're finding even at the personal level, there is so much going on. And it's so fast. It's just boom, boom, boom. And as we're moving in slowly into the age of Aquarius, which is all about technology, exploration, new ideas, concepts, no borders, expansions, we are finding that we are undergoing these changes as well. And so is our society. So plenty of conceptual change and newness and you know, polarizing situations, both personally, interpersonally, and community, and even within our governments, our countries, and our planet. So where that card actually falls for you could be very personal, but it can mean that something big is on its cusp, but that timing might be holding up a portion of it or a degree of it one way or another. Well, that's another major arcana card, and it is a beautiful one. And the sun is what we need to live from every day. So we were just talking about planets and the lineups. So possibly there is some planetary motion that could be affecting you guys. We have also just come out of the energies of the July eclipse, which will still be powering us through into September. So there might be something that happened around July that could be fostering this desire or change or juxtaposition or new directions or energies coming up for you. The sun also talks about newness and it can talk about new relationships. So for some of you looking for romantic relationships, this is a possibility when the sun card is out. We see these two down here in a particularly close and intimate steer that they have going on between each other as if they are communicating perhaps non-verbally but through their uh, their force field or their energetic connection so sometimes this can mean a very powerful and it doesn't have to be just romance but it can be a very powerful intimate relationship that could be budding or might be taking shape or it could be that something from this card here has made you change direction and you encounter this or you are moving into this direction. It can also be the conception of something new such as a child. So a pregnancy is possible for those of you really seeking a pregnancy. This can be about new ideas and concepts in terms of um, businesses or projects and we are in the time now as I said earlier of so many new concepts and ideas coming and some of them will be so far removed from what we currently understand we can't even conceive of them properly yet so humanity is going through a great change of understanding and in those changes come discombobulation you know it brings about a bit of anxiety and it changes a lot of things for us but the sun is a beautiful card of all positivity of growth of awareness of some sort of like some sort of magnification of something coming in through the mind so ideas so for some of you this is like an see this rainbow which is created by the sun coming into her head or her mind and then we have the sun again really magnified some of you are almost getting this intense thought or ideas or concepts that come to you that take you in this path of new direction or newness for some of you it's relationships for others of you it might be projects for others of you it could be belief systems or just like it you're changing or growing or becoming a new you as i say these are powerful times that we're going through and they're not just one month that this is happening it's month after month and it's year after year if you look back at yourself 
five years ago even, you won't be the same person you were then. You, you, there's a possibility that many of you will be vastly different than, than you were five or ten years ago. Your concepts, your ideas, the things you liked, the things you didn't like, the things you've experienced, you may have thought I, this could never have happened, but it has. And this isn't the end either. We are on a path of very strong evolution, all of us. So let's see what this card has for you. The sacral chakra, which is the orange color, a little bit like the sun in here. And the sacral chakra is around this part of the body. And it has to do with our creative force, our passions and our ideas. It also has to do with sexuality and relationships. So this whole thing is kind of moving along in a flow here, like a, a web, like a a flow of energy it almost as if it was a wave if you like not a web but a wave now as i said before some of you this could be relationship feelings or moving or growing or changing and for other i for others of you this is ideas and concepts or projects or creativity or passion that's coming to you this message down here on the sacral chakra says you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods and energies. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations and relationships. So for some of you this could go all the way back to the sacrifice card and this change of direction and pondering about pers very personal things when the hanged man comes up. You might have been pondering do I continue on the road I'm going or do I make changes with things around me in my life? Now sometimes when this card comes out it's talking to you about changes of diet, changes of what we absorb in our bodies and our minds and our spirits and souls. Even the words you speak or the people you associate with or the thoughts you have can all go towards creating tension or negativity or anxiety within your body so this might be a message for some of you to make these changes change your diet up and out move something out of your life or system that is creating havoc one way or another whether it be a substance or a food or an energy or an emotion or a place you live or a job you're in or a relationship so, and it says you're feeling, you know, you're in a place of sensitivity. So to honor and respect that sensitivity, because when we listen to ourselves and we take heed of the messages that are coming, even if they seem, you know, out of the blue or not part of the path, that, that's the times when we will make the most forward jumps, when we will actually end up in the more positive direction or the positive place but when we don't listen to ourselves and we don't heed these little warnings then we go unchanged and we go off in possibly the wrong direction and we don't take heed of listening to those higher self messages or collective conscious or celestial messages let us see what this card over here has to say Angel of joyfulness, something wondrous and magical is about to happen. So this is one of those type of cards that is denoting something coming, a change of some sort. And we've seen it from the very first card. So you have to weave into this yourself. You have to connect with it. You have to decide whether this change is something that you were anticipating or that you could cope with. Given that it's saying it is wondrous and magical, you even get the feeling here of the Magician card. And if you've been following me for some time, um, and if you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you for joining. But if you've been following for some time, you'll know when we heard the word like magical and the Magician, that generally means that you have to put something in to get it to happen. Magic is real and it does exist, but we have to ignite it and we have to look for it and be ready to jump on board when it's passing us by. And that's what could happen at the crossroads, at the sacrifice card. You may not see it coming because you're not focused on it or looking in the right direction. 
We are often given grand opportunities in life, but we're often either A, not ready for them, or B, unable to decipher them and can't manage to figure it out, or C, looking in the wrong direction and miss them. So it's time to be on the lookout in this month of September, I think, guys, because there's something around that could help you move into a clearer space or a more positive space about manifesting or achieving or starting something new. Let's see what this one is. Another major arcana. So th three of your tarots out of three are major arcanas. This is the moon. Now we've got we've had the moon and the sun out, and that's the ecliptical energy, right? We had the lunar eclipse and then the solar eclipse. So this could be harking back to energies you felt in July or something that happened then. Whether some of you felt strange or as if you were receiving messages or feelings or inspiration from afar or from thoughts that were only just beginning to form, you might be able to now grab onto some of those ideas or concepts that you had to form something. This card is also about us as a whole and reaching into the shadow side of us. And if you turn the card on an angle like that, we can barely see over here on the side now. But he's there, he exists, he's just the shadow half of ourself. And when we make that connection and create the wholeness, we get rid of any voids that exist. And voids tend to be energies that um, bubble around us like anxiety, fear, worry, depression. Because we haven't amalgamated with that other half, the shadow side. So there's always work to be done when the moon, this is traditionally the moon card, but when it turns up it's about integrating ourselves. So sometimes this is time spent in contemplation or pondering or on our own, the same as the first card that you received again. And this one adds up to nine and it's the magic day of the month in September is the nine nine harmony and three is divisible into nine. So these cards are intermingling each other and their messages are being merged together. So I think it's a really good month for you guys to go into quite personal and in-depth meditation and contemplation on what it is you're seeking to expand on or get rid of, you know, move into or move out of. There's a lot of messages in here about things that have been going on in the background for you guys that you've either been fighting with or hiding from that need to be integrated together and brought out into the light so that there is more freedom and movement and cohesiveness and togetherness. So it could be part of yourself that you've been denying or hiding from or frightened of or not prepared to extrapolate out and to grow with or it could be something about partnerships or careers that you've been hiding from the reality of how you feel about them and they need to be worked on. Uh, but, but yeah, they're quite big messages coming from those first cards. And now you've got an ace as well. Now the ace of rods is about fire and passion and creativity. And this is about new beginnings, new opportunities, new chances again. And it's coming to you through the collective conscious, through the creative resources, it hasn't fully manifested. It's ideas that are churning away in the background. Just like all this that I've said, it's about connecting with it all, pulling it all together, the moon and the sun and all the energies and the rainbows, which is, it seems an odd bunch to all turn up at once. But when they all collectively come together, they can produce magic, which produces creativity and understanding and movement and ideas and passion. This can be the form of new jobs coming in, uh, uh, projects that somebody has been trying to get done and up and started and they actually take off and begin to flourish. So you're moving from the thought form, bringing it into the physical, getting it from A, turning it into B and the engine is turning over. Especially good for 
career ideas or um, for some of you it might be study and studying might be about to be finished and you could be about to move into a career perspective. If those of you who are listening are past the working aspect of life then these are about your personal hobbies and passions or gratifications in life. And if you've been feeling stifled around those areas, there's movement here when you make the connection with all of these different things and you fill in the gaps and you do the work. There's no doubt about that. Another ace. <laughs> so this is the ace of swords and it says triumphant success. So we can feel change coming. We can feel something powerful in the background moving things around for you and when you achieve it when you reach the personal acclamation and come to some understanding about what it is you've been seeking or wanting to ignite or start or change then this is the success you get and it feels for a lot of you that it's been a while in the making or a while in the coming something's been bubbling away underneath the surface underneath because this one here is about something having taken time and then coming to the light as you see in the card something popping up and going it's like that eureka moment oh by god we've got it we've made it we've done it yay this is coming and when you get all of these other pieces of this jigsaw together, you know, two aces, the sun, these major arcana cards, it's a pretty neat uh, reading. Power animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. So for some of you, really utilize the, the moment to tune into your spirit guides. And if you don't know what they are, they're like an, a, a guardian angel, but they come from the animal kingdom. Or perhaps they don't come from the animal kingdom, but they represent their energies in an animal form. Because they are perhaps manifesting whatever that animal is known to do or give off or their vibration. They're offering you that energy to help conceive something or help clarify something especially at the mind's level so some of you may be receiving new spirit guides or guardian angels yourself some of you may have a horse as a power animal or a large animal that is like a like a mammal like a four-footed larger animal let's have a look here the Two of Swords, we see the moon again in the background. It's, we're, we're playing a lot on the moon's energies for Gemini. And it's something about moon timing in the month as well. Perhaps the Piscean full moon is going to send you into some sort of emotional upheaval or emotional connection or disconnect. This card is a two. It is about choices and not knowing which one to make. So see, we're beginning to come back to the hanged man, this crossroads. You, you're definitely at some crossroad for the month and you have some thinking to do to sort things out. We've got the parents card in. Um, and the, I like the writing on the bottom of this card. It's the, the divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal any pain from associated with either your mother or father. So some of this whole thing here could be related to family matters for some of you. About either seeking independence or breaking away or standing up to be heard your truth. So some of you may find that there's been an impasse or like a block between family members and yourself or possibly your parents or grandparents or maybe there's some sort of issue that's been going on within a family that has uh, separated siblings and parents or families and pulled them apart. Do remember that yeah if your parents and you have had a falling out or if there's a falling out with siblings everyone can only do their best and sometimes their best falls short of expectations as we know 
But, and even if you've got a parent who unfortunately hasn't been a good parent or has caused negativity or um, is in grief or strife themselves, either emotionally or financially or health-wise, their life path is theirs and they have to live it as well. We can offer support or we can offer help, but sometimes for some of us, it's about walking away. You can walk away physically, but you can still offer them love and blessings and healing from a distance as well. Some of you, this can very much be a message from parents who have passed over and they are just sending a, not so much an apology, but a caring presence, especially if you are going through any circumstances that you are finding very trying and having difficulty to resolve. You know, sometimes it's nice to talk to your passed over parents and just sit somewhere quiet and have a chat with them. And you can sometimes hear messages coming through, through conversations or synchronistic events that take place after you've talked with them. So yeah, um, there's a whole bunch of different meanings or thoughts or stuff that comes rumbling in whenever something like the parents card turns up. So again, this is only a general reading. We can't go into it too much specifically for each and every one of you. But what I do suggest is you do some meditation about the subject matter or your families and spend a little bit of time on deciding what is this crossroad you are at and what is the best way to deal with it to get a positive outcome. The Hermit, not dissimilar from the uh, Hanged Man or the Sacrifice card, this is about spending time alone and really contemplating life, your journey, where you want to go, what represents your belief systems or the type of people you want in your life, who do you want to share it with, how do you feel about yourself, about your evolution, about how people treat you, about how you treat others. These are all, you know, this is another major arcana and these are very intensely thinking cards that are turning up for you, the contemplation of the mind and of the thought and of your journey and your soul and your connection and you know even this beautiful one here about this magical joyfulness that's coming in, you have to activate it for it to happen. So with another one, wow, the spiritual union. Now we've seen it with the possibility of the sun. You know, you've got two people who are doing almost the same thing. They're looking into each other with some spiritual or energetic connect. And they've got this emanating glow like the sun in the background and this one here. So for some of you, there's this deep possibility of intense spiritual a union or awakening or awareness or togetherness for some of you there's a potential for a very deep soulmate to come into your life or occasionally I will talk about this twin flame energy now here's the strange thing you're only the third reading that I've done and both of the other readings had the twin flame card come out I don't know what it is about September, whether Venus is playing a role, but love seems to be behind a lot of the energetic bonds that are going to shift us through September. This is a, these two cards together would denote very poignant union making. Some of you may already be in this union or this relationship and it could be intensified and uplifted or upgraded to this type of energy or bond or connection. Others of you may feel this at a very deep spiritual level and you may have a spiritual connection that is extremely euph euphoric and bliss making but it may not be with a person here in the physical realm. So it may be that the, um, the shadow work that is done with yourself and bringing back other parts of you that you haven't connected with create this almost like energetic bond or connection with yourself as well. I mean the, the opportunity for this to be very, very powerful and intense 
could be an amazing opportunity for you guys. It can also be intensely physical as well. You know, when I say that, I mean beyond what you've experienced in the past. And again, this could be with a current partner or potential new love partners coming in. Some of you, this is a message, you are powerful light workers. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to the divine. And we see this light emanating out from the heart chakra where, where all of our emotion and love comes from. And we've just had this card with this spiritual union. And we're saying, your spiritual power brings great blessings. So, and I said, that there's, a, there's either a connection or possibility here that you unite with someone who creates light and power for you, in you and around you, or it's the creation of your own light and power that jumps out and magnifies things for you in your life. And some of you will experience intense bouts of euphoria or bliss or connection to something that is very powerful and great in the cosmos. It's, it's, it's an interesting month that is taking shape in September, I have to say. This one is not such a, a positive card. It's the Five of Swords. It warns us of arguments with people and situations. And sometimes when we speak our truth, which is what your message was at the very beginning, that people can walk away. So there's a possibility here that if you do stand up to be heard and speak your truth, you might offend some others and some of them could leave. And sometimes this is for good. So... Be careful about who you do want to say what to. This card is often considered a warning card in as much that you should clarify gently what you are wanting in life and how you say it. Um, yeah, so some of you, you could see people walking out of your life and they might be gone for good. However, I don't think, you know, it's not a bad thing because obviously there was tension and animosity there. Wow, now you've got emotional sensitivity. Honour and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. So you, you are going through some sort of um, metamorphosis or growth or cleansing or reorganising or restructuring because this one here is you are highly sensitive. You are highly sensitive and emotional sensitivity is coming in as well. And this one here, the powerful light worker. So you're clearing out something that you didn't need or that wasn't balanced or that you haven't amalgamated together. You're working on some personal spiritual background stuff, um, bringing about, you know, what you could do through meditation and taking the time out and then bringing about some sort of deep awareness or awakening or connection possibly to someone else possibly someone new it's intensely vibrational and if it's with someone else it goes forward at great lengths for, for for a long time so events like this that take place that reshape a destiny if you like they don't just happen overnight and they don't just dis disappear overnight so much potential change for you all but I do believe that you have to do some work that this is a month where you need to knuckle down and do some things and make some changes clear some things out definitely but then you've got all these potential new beginnings with these aces as well that came in that allow you to go in this um, new direction than where you have been when you were undecided <laughs> and somehow families play a role in this somewhere along the line but it's not the total message there, there's involvement with family, but it could be to the degree that you are leaving some family behind or you have disagreements with perhaps some of their agenda or some of their concepts about who you should be and how you should be. Um, and when I say family, that can be siblings, parents, lovers, 
uh, commun your community, uh, grandparents, aunts, uncles, the whole gamut of, of different relationships. So there you are, Gemini. I think that's a fairly intense reading for you, a very powerful one, and one to contemplate as September rolls in. You know, come back and listen to it again more than once, because when you listen and you take on the energy of the cards and the background words and the meanings and it can be very helpful and insightful for you too. So remember to sub the channel and to hit the like, hit the notification button. And I love it when you leave all your comments too guys. So I'd love to know how many of you kind of come across this potential um, spiritual union feeling either with yourself at a very high level or an astral connection or with a person in your life and you can say I do I have this bond with this person that it's so deep I feel as though sometimes we are one so yeah I'd love to hear any comments that you would like to leave thank you for subbing everyone and I wish you the very very best for a wonderful intensely uh, spiritually unified month ahead. Much love everyone. Namaste.